and welcome back to The Critics, our look at the best and worst of the first six months of 2012. It's now time for the three worst movies of the year so far. Jim, start us off with your bottom three. In almost no particular <laughs> order, that. but Red Tails, oh. um, the Tuskegee Airmen deserved so much better than that. Um, lousy, uh, well... Okay, lousy, so, script. lousy yes. script. Good actors, lousy script, lousy direction, lousy special effects. Um, a bucket of cliches. Um, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to throw on there. Oh. Uh, I, I just, everything imaginative in the book's been pitched, <clears throat> and what's left wouldn't make an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I liked it. Um, I thought it was cheesy fun. How oh. cheesy, I'll give you that. <laughs> um, and I'm going to like stand out like a sore thumb here and say I really, really dislike seeking a friend for the oh, end of the world, yeah. which, which just I thought was just a dreary, oh, dreary okay. road okay. trip. No. And um, I, I, you know, some good performances. Um, yeah, and, and, it's all going to be the worst of it is good performances. Yeah, you know, I, I still think a story that makes sense helps. Oh. And 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 you know, I, I don't want to spoil the ending, but it doesn't qualify as my idea of a good time. Um, I, I, but how, it couldn't end any no, other way. No, Bruce Willis end? could have come in. Oh, I kept that hoping. That wouldn't have gone along with the tone of the way. movie. It was a beautiful a, ending. A beautiful? Kiara Knightley it, sobbing and in fear as the asteroid comes in? <laughs> That's your idea of a beautiful Spoiler, ending. It didn't, even, Spoiler, have, it didn't even have to be he, positive <laughs> ending to okay. make something such a great movie. Great tragedy. King Lear, sure. This... <laughs> You know, I'm sorry. It's it's it's. I, I couldn't handle it. It's just, it's, it to me, it was it was pretty much a mess, and I, I just. Oh, Jim. Oh, Jim. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to Amy now. With her worst three. Well, I had a hard time coming up with a list because there have been so many stinkers the first six months mm. of the year. Um, however, in no particular order, because I really didn't know how to rank them, I would say Wrath of the Titans was terrible. It had. No redeeming features outside of Sam Worthington, who I think is a redeeming feature unto himself. An excellent choice, by the way, to pick that movie. Yeah, uh, it's just a, it made Clash of the Titans look like high art, which is saying something. <laughs> um, another one would be American Reunion, mm. which is the latest in the American Pie franchise. And frankly, it's getting old. The leads are getting old. They're definitely getting old. They're getting kind of long in the tooth to be playing libidinous teenagers. Well, they hadn't done it you know? in so many years. They hadn't done it in so many years, and it just wasn't funny. It was totally by the book, and I really disliked it. Um, but fresh on my mind is a film that just came out last week. To, yeah, last week. People Like Us. Ooh. And I was rooting for it to be good because it's, it's the directorial debut of right. Alex Kortzman, who is um, one of my favorite science fiction screenwriters. He co-wrote the Star Trek movie. Mm. And it has Chris Pine, and it has Elizabeth Banks, but it's, right. I decided that, that I had to coin a term for that kind of movie. It's a lying dingbat procrastinator <laughs> movie. Because it's basically the main character goes in, and he's her long-lost brother. There you go. And he doesn't tell her he's her long-lost brother. And it continues. And you're, going, the you're sitting there going, ick, 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 she's going to fall in love with him, and you want to punch the guy. And that was my problem <laughs> with the Speaking of spoiler alerts. <laughs> Well, you know it's coming. He's Chris Pine. He's handsome. She's Elizabeth Banks. Come on, you know? I think finding out that Elizabeth Banks is my long-lost sister would be about the most depressing thing that could happen to me in my, a, a simple lifetime. But Yeah, I, I didn't like that movie much, but it did not make my bottom three. At number three, Disney's John Carter. Oh. It's so boring. The special effects are incredibly cheesy. I was so disappointed from Andrew Stanton, who did Wally. I wasn't a huge Wally fan, but I liked it. And Finding Nemo, yeah, pretty much of a mess. At number two, Wrath of the Titans. In fact, I think it's actually <laughs> better than Clash of the Titans, just by a little bit, mainly because of the 3D actually wasn't that bad. It's true, the effects the were better. The, the effects three, were yeah. better, yeah. The rest yeah. of it was terrible. I didn't hate Wrath of the Titans. I didn't love Wrath. I didn't love either one of them. Mm -hmm. The 3D was so much better uh, on on the second one because right. Clash of the Titans is the movie that gave 3D post conversions a bad name. Yeah, right. I I've hated movies more than Wrath of the Titans. At least it, it was fairly <laughs> short. They they broke some really. I like property damage, and they did break some big stuff. <laughs> That's true. Um, it's you true. know, it's. 
You know, I mean, that's, it's, it's not going to go down as a masterpiece, but it's like, I didn't. I felt that way about John Carter. I didn't mind John Carter. Really? John, I, I John Carter, nerd. I didn't mind. It did what I expected it, it to do. It was two hours and 20 minutes, and it was very painful. It was over long. You know, it was even more painful. Yeah. Number one, Battleship. I felt so bad for Liam Neeson. Taylor Kitsch yet again. When it tried to be funny, it wasn't. There wasn't a single enjoyable action sequence. Even when they tried to honor the board game, it was okay. Uh, I hated Battleship. I, I was dreading when I was watching Battleship. I don't feel sorry for Liam Neeson because he, cho he did not have to do that. He chose to do that film. They heave scripts at Liam Neeson, usually with the check stapled to the cover. And, he, you know, if he's going to do anything to pay the rent, he, he did... He deserves what he gets. Brooklyn I, Decker was flat and with her performance. I'm <laughs> sorry, that just sounded <laughs> funny. Um, that's the first time Brooklyn Decker's ever been called flat. Um, the, as far as Taylor Kitsch, you know, if you go back far enough, there's a guy named Michael Pere who got three good bites at the Apple uh, with movies called Eddie and the Cruiser, yeah. Streets of Fire, and The Philadelphia Experiment, all of which should have been hits and none of which were. Mm -hmm. And Michael Pere is kind of like a Hollywood Squares question now. And I think Taylor Kitsch could be going right, that he's way. He's the Michael Perea of his generation. <laughs> he's getting movie, and especially when yeah. you consider that I think if you take um, Battleship's budget and put it next to John Carter's budget, oh, they, they you have, have balanced the federal budget. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they had two big budgets. So yeah, those were our picks for the worst movies of the year so far.